Welcome back to another Seeking Sister Wife recap. In today's episode, Marcus enlisted the help of his two wingmen, aka his wife, to seduce his future wife. Yeah, if that makes any sense. A few weeks ago, I had my date with Janae, and I really didn't think I would hear from her again after dropping the polygamous bomb on her. Um, yeah, and we didn't think we would see her again either, but here she is. There's a lot of cloud chasers these days. Maybe she just wants to be on TV. That's one possibility. And there still is this undeniable connection and vibe between the two of us. And so obviously for me, with her being uneasy before, I immediately want to pitch to her to get together with Taryn and India. Maybe they can sell the case better than I can. Wow, you're not able to seduce a woman on your own. You need your wives to help you. And she's agreed to do that, so I'm pretty excited. But look, it's I got Janae. Nice. Janae, this is Taryn. Nice to finally meet you. And India. <laughs> I don't know that Janae is, I guess, sold on um, the idea of a, a polygamous lifestyle. No shit, she's not sold on it. Who would want to live that lifestyle unless you're someone like you that doesn't want to work and doesn't mind completely depending off a man, which is not respected these days. I'm counting on y'all to seal the deal here for me. That's all Bruh. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, Marcus, it's one thing to have a secret plan for your wives to seduce this woman, but it's another thing if you say it right in front of her. It's our first time meeting and it's a little awkward, very much awkward actually. Marcus and I have like this crazy bond, you know, it's a flirtatious type of like thing, but I'm entering into a Lady, it's a flirtatious like thing Come on, just say you want to be on TV. So, Janae, I'm kind of shocked that we're meeting. Right. You were so under the impression that you were just going on this date with this single guy, and then he told you about us. For anyone that hasn't noticed, this is the bulldog over here. She's the gatekeeper. She doesn't want any woman to touch her man like any normal woman would be. <laughs> I was definitely swindled into coming down um i mean be real like yeah wait so you just flew me down here and you're married like you know what i mean then it's like not one but two so bitch why are you here if you got swindled let's cheers to to possibilities we were separated i i left marcus but i also made it very clear to him within a few months that like yeah this was dumb i probably shouldn't have moved out <laughs> Or maybe she realized that having to work isn't that fun, but he took that as an opportunity to add another woman to the marriage, and there's nothing she can do about it because she has no say in the household. She doesn't work. She doesn't do anything. I'm Just not going to say that I'm real sure. excited about the fact that the sex is going to get spread out. I ain't saying that at all. <laughs> we because, say like, that all the time, but I think about we, it like we, we have a lot of sex. I now I understand why their initials as a family is TMI because they're giving out way too much info. We don't want to know that shit. I mean, you guys made interesting points. Um, I still feel how I feel. Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not really convinced. I think she just wants to be on TV, but I guess we'll see on the next episode. All right, thanks for watching. See ya.